cowboy boots, as you know, are everywhere in Texas. But on the Texas A&M campus, you'll find boots worn only by a special few. Yeah, Larry Seaver tells us why putting them on is a rite of passage. In Aggieland, you hear them coming. They're so big, everyone sees them, everyone knows them around campus. Around the quad, each step, slide, rattles every cadet's chain. It's just something that you want to attain in your four years here and you just look up to and admire. So the value to them is kind of inexplicable to someone who doesn't go through the core. a ms Corps of Cadets considers themselves guardians of tradition. And you know mugging down? I have no idea. Some need interpretation, but those brown riding boots with spurs worn only by seniors. And you earn those. Are too sacred for fish. I'm earning my boots. Unless they're helping pull boots off. In case you're wondering. Fish is a freshman. But getting a custom fit from the Corps' original bootmaker requires freshman order during these first few weeks of class, which as you can imagine has consequences. Back in the day, if, if guys would get caught in our shop, they would have to do push-ups right there on the floor. How many push-ups went into your those boots? <laughs> Countless. Made with calf skin imported from France, they're stitched, nailed, glued, and sanded by hand. Leo Belofsky and staff get hundreds of orders but make just four a day. He wants each pair to feel special. It would be the difference of, say, a pair of Rustler jeans versus a polo. So how does it feel? Uh, it's nice. It's a lot looser than I feel. They're not as tight as I expected them to be around the ankle. Junior Kyle Pye just tried on his boots for the first time and already they are his most cherished possession. This is the symbol that I made it. I made it through the core. And earned the right to cross the quad in style. In College Station, Larry Seward, KHOU, 11 News. Nice. Very nice.